Hi, I'm Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts, and we're going to showcase a couple different moves from the Kung Fu system, uh, two moves from the Chin Na system, and one move from um, our Tiger system. So our Chin Na is basically Chinese grappling, Chinese wrestling. Okay, These are just simple techniques to hyperextend joints, to put people in submissions, and to escape from submissions. My beginning background in martial arts was in collegiate wrestling, and a lot of these techniques uh, are escapes and takedowns from wrestling, but wrestling for the street where there's no rules. So in collegiate wrestling, for instance, a full Nelson is illegal, a half Nelson is legal. So a half Nelson is when you have somebody on the ground and you have one arm underneath the arm, the other hand behind the head, you're trying to cramp up their neck and turn them on their back to pin them. On the street, they might actually get you in a full Nelson with both hands behind uh, your head. So I had somebody when I was a teenager do this to me and almost put me out. So. Now we know the escape. When they get you down, they're cramping you up really hard. They're trying to close off your windpipe, okay, as well as restrict your blood flow so you pass out. So even if you can hold your breath, it won't matter because you're going to pass out. So the first thing I do is everything stems from the ground up. I sink a little bit, I bend the knees, and I try to stay calm and have a good foundation. Then I grasp my hand extremely strong. I put it on my forehead and I lift it up this way and give support to my neck, protecting my blood flow. Okay? So I'm like I'm meditating with my hands like, like this, but I'm grasping it really hard because he's going to be as strong as he can go. So strong. I'm going to put the hands here on my forehead and try to lift up with a good strong stance. And as soon as I lift up, I'm going to drop my elbows down and try to break it. They may not let go, which is fine. We're just trying to cause them some uncomfortable holds. Okay? So again, when they go underneath, they push us down, we're going to lift and then drop immediately. We're going to step on the instep and break their foot. Then we're going to trap out their knee. Okay? Then as soon as we do that, we're going to step behind them and sing into a low stance so that my center of gravity is down. Then I'm going to turn and try to drop him on the ground. Just like that. Okay? Again, let's go from the side. As soon as they grab us and they push us down, okay, I bend the legs, I protect my head by lifting it up this way, then I drop the elbows down this way, step on the instep, trap out the knee, then step behind him and drop my center of gravity down and turn and twist and try to throw, and that way my stance is superior and my position is superior to his. One more time from this angle. Underneath, sink the stance, Lift the head, drop the elbows, step on the foot, trap out the knee, step behind and get hip to hip really close, then just turn, torque the body, and turn them onto the ground. Okay, there's the first move. Second move in the same category. It's a chin down move where they get us with an arm choke from the behind. And his whole goal is to lock that forearm in my throat, to change my voice, and to lose, to make me lose blood flow. Okay, so again, very similar escape, only this time I'm going to grab onto his wrist and his arm right here. I'm going to turn my chin into the gap of the elbow, so it gives me a couple more seconds of blood flow. And then I'm going to pull his arm down as hard as I can. Stomp onto the foot and trap out the knee and step behind, but keep the arm. I want to keep the arm because now, like a praying mantis grabbing his prey, I've got control of him, and I can use this arm when I torque to throw him behind, again, just like the full Nelson. Okay, so these are kind of like sister chin knot techniques. From this angle, same thing. He's going to grab, I'm going to grab wrist and forearm, and I'm going to turn my chin into the gap as I pull down. I'm going to stomp on his foot and trap out his knee and step behind and keep control. Then, I can even use my elbow and go to the head or the neck, but keep that arm, and then turn and throw him back. One more time from this angle. Grab on, grab wrist and forearm, and sink the stance and pull down. Turn the chin into the gap. Stomp on the foot and trap out the knee and step behind. Then turn and try to throw him onto the ground. The key is, is short, explosive technique. Okay? And the last movement is a little more of an offensive chin na from a punch. So when they go to punch in this way, Whenever somebody squares off into a fighting stance with me, I want to have a rooted position. So I don't care if you study karate or Aikido or Taekwondo or Krav Maga or anything. Every fighting system, 
Every athletic sport has an athletic leg position and kinetic energy that stems from the ground up. Okay, so we want to have the same thing in Kung Fu. When they have their stance, no matter what they're doing, we have our stance, nice and low, with my hands in front in whatever position I want. When that hand comes in to punch me, if it's the, let's say it's the front hand, I'm going to have a good mobile, uh, a good mobility in my legs. So again, turn, okay? When he comes in, I may even block it this way. So that's move number one. I go here, and I try to grab on. Again, here, try to snatch it. So once I snatch it, I have control. I'm going to step behind him and pull his arm right against my body and then use my entire body down into the ground. Okay, the key is, I'm only 190 pounds and I'm six feet tall. There's always somebody bigger and stronger than you. So my arm is only this size. My body is much bigger. So use your body. Okay, so again, from here, let's do it from this angle. One time. From here, I block. As I step behind him, I snatch the arm and I pull it toward my body. And I drop onto it that way. Using the shoulder and the elbow to create pain in him so his body will follow. Okay? One more time from this angle. I'm going to block, snatch and step behind and pull it toward my, my body. Okay? Then drop, push my knee into the ground. I can hold him there. I can hit with a back fist. I can just push and create separation and then get away. Okay? Because mostly Kung Fu is about defense and getting away and surviving. So if he was already down, we would want to get out of there. Okay, last time. So this time a little bit slower. We're going to go here. We're going to lock, step behind, pull the arm toward my body, and then drop on it with my entire body. Okay. Here. Here. Snap. Okay, so we have three moves to practice at home from the Chin Na Fighting System of Kung Fu. I'm Jake Mace. Visit us at phoenixlongevityarts.com or check out our other YouTube videos to see some more skills from Kung Fu and from Tai Chi.